Rabbi Edelstein here with another installment of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you by Moor, Washington, D.C. Check out our website, merdc.com, or find us on Facebook. Learn about our programs, including the upcoming Maimonides Jewish Leaders Fellowship, a great 10-week seminar offered at GW and AU universities. What's in this week's portion you want to know? Re'e, that's the name of it. It's in the book of Deuteronomy, Devarim, and it, Moshe Rabbeinu, the, Moses says to the Jewish people, Re'e, see, see, Anochi no sein lifnechem hayom bracha uklala. I'm placing before you, the Jewish people today, a blessing and a curse. And he goes on, the blessing that you should listen to the commandments of the Lord your God, follow them, and the curse, if you don't listen to the commandments and stray after other gods, blessing, curse, see, he says, I'm putting placing them before you today. Now the theme that following the mitzvot, the commandments, leads to blessing and uh, spiritual elevation and all things good, that's a common theme in the Torah. And so too, straying from the path of the commandments, even though it might seem attractive or, or uh, uh, t tempting, ultimately leads to a dead end spiritually in this world and the next world. That's also a theme that's common in the Torah. What's unique about this verse? It's the word re'e, see. Moshe Rabbeinu is saying this is not something on faith, Jewish people. You can see that the Torah leads to blessing, that the commandments lead to fulfillment, and straying leads to the opposite. That generation that he spoke to, that lived through Mount Sinai, the exodus from Egypt, they truly saw miracles and wonders, perhaps in a way, not perhaps, in a way that we don't as openly. But the Torah is eternal. It speaks to every one of us all the time. And Moshe is telling us, the Torah is telling us, Re'e, see. And the great commentaries tell us that the goal ultimately is to reach a level where our amuna, our faith, is palpable almost to the level of seeing. That God is such a reality to us that we see his presence in this world. Now the truth is, even in an era of hiddenness compared to earlier times as we live in now, there's so much wonder in this world and miracles and beauty and in our, in our, inside of ourselves and outside to see, if we open our eyes, we can see Hashem in our lives for sure at times, but other times things can look dark. We have to work at it. That's the, the, uh, the, the avoda, the work of our lives. Now, the Slonim Rebbe, great rabbi in his commentary, Nesivo Shalom, says that the verse says, Today, see that I'm placing before you today a blessing and a curse. And the great Slonim Rebbe says that has at least two deeper meanings. Today, Shabbos, the most special day of the week. What's the day of the week that we can reach a clarity of purpose and of faith and see the blessing that comes with the Torah more profoundly than any other day? Shabbos. Also, he says, Rosh Hashanah the day of judgment when things are quite clear as the year is about to be, is, is beginning. And indeed, this Shabbos begins the month of Elul, preparatory to Rosh Hashanah. That's why we always read Parshish Re'e right now. So everyone, let's all hopefully open our eyes more and more in the coming weeks towards Rosh Hashanah, and Shabbos is coming to see the blessing that comes with clinging to the Torah. Have a great Shabbos.